So guys, right now is the perfect time to pick up some extra coins because in this video, you're going to learn about a ton of investments that you guys want to make before these prices get too high. Because this weekend, there's going to be a ton of opportunity for investment. Go check out bestfullcoins.com. Use my code SABER for 10% off your entire order. Hey, what is going on guys? Sabertooth finally back on Mad Mobile and today I'm going to be going over a bunch of different investing methods that you guys should really hop on the bandwagon and start doing right now until these prices get too high and then it's just not worth it anymore because there's a bunch of ways that I've figured out that no matter how many coins you guys have right now, whether it's like 100,000 or even millions of coins, you guys can be making a ton of profit just this weekend off of this weekend tournament and today I'm going to show you guys all the methods that I think can double or even possibly triple your coins and make you guys from a couple hundred thousand coins to even a couple million coins so if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button real quick as always we are so close to 36k so if we could hit that by the end of this weekend that would be ideal also make sure to smash that like button if you guys are excited for this weekend tournament if we could get maybe five or 600 likes on this video, that would be absolutely phenomenal. Now, let's just right into this. First of all, you guys know today, all Color Rush players are boosted plus five overall for every Thursday, which is pretty nice, actually. It's a nice addition. It makes some of these cards more valuable than they were before. Specifically, Tavon Austin looks pretty nice, actually. He's got 93 speed, 93 excel, 95 agility when he's just boosted like that. And then imagine you train him up. You can get him to probably 100 speed, 100 excel. Pretty easy. He's pretty short and his catch is not the greatest, but I think that's a nice touch, especially every Thursday this NFL season. That's going to be a long time, so these players are going to be somewhat relevant for a decent amount of time, even though it's only one day. So let's jump right into this. Pretty much my thinking behind this is, so we already know the tournaments are going to be focusing on running. Obviously, you can only do running plays for this tournament, and I think a decent amount of people are going to be playing in this one because a lot of people skipped last tournament like I did. I have 42 tickets I'm just waiting to grind out in this tournament and if you guys are gonna be wanting to get wins you have to have a strong game plan so that's what I'm banking on pretty much game plans I think are gonna be consisted of almost all five of these spots if not even your uh, defensive unit if you have one that counters runs it's all gonna be run plays people are just gonna be stacking their game plans with run plays and just hoping for the best because people can only run certain plays so I've been stocking up on game plans. I have a decent amount of silvers, but I've really been going decently hard on the golds. I have four, or not the golds, the bronzes. I have 14 of the double counters. And just pretty much whenever I see a bronze under five or 6,000 coins as either a run play type game plan or a specific play counter, I just go ahead and I pick it up. So no matter if you guys only have maybe 50K coins, you can pick up a decent amount of these game plans and all I do is just go, let's say 6,000 coins and I just scroll back to the four hour mark and see any semi-decent run plays that you think are decently like frequent. So double counter uh, trips TE halfback counter is actually a very, very effective run play this year. Ones that you don't want to look for is things like motion QB draw or 45 base. Um, those I think are almost not used at all in the game So those are not really going to be relevant in this tournament even though it is only running even end around I don't think too many people will be running that you guys can see 45 bases kind of sit there You'll probably see some uh, QB draws and some FL reverse H medium draw is not too great as well But specifically some run plays that you need to probably be checking out Let's see if we can find any here and then I'll just go over a list of the best run plays that you guys probably want to counter because they are going to be pretty commonly used so double counter is definitely one of them um let's see even just the run in general play counters are pretty solid i like using those because i feel like people who don't have as many coins are just gonna go ahead and just stack on all the soft run play counters so they can have a 10 percent chance of countering any play if they do five two percent counters which is not bad. You're going to be looking for trips, tight end, halfback, counter, double counter. Going to be looking for some silver ones as well. Here's a trips, tight end, halfback, counter. That's not too bad for 5.3k. There's anything else in here. We'll pick it up, but it doesn't look like there is. Let's see if there were any good ones already sold. Um, PAFB flat. That's not a run though. Weak guy double counter was already sold. So you guys can just sit under 5k and just snipe these off. Some silver ones you want to be looking at are... Bunch HB Dive, the HB Stretch Play, Strong Eye, HB Blast, HB Toss. Those are some ones that are commonly used. 
and just look under probably 30,000 for these. These are only if you guys have a little bit more coins and you want to be spending, then you can go up in price and just scroll back once again to the four hour mark. See if those there are any of those plays that have just been posted up. So remember when Hail Mary was one of the most expensive counters in the game? Wow, it is dropped down. So the HB stretch there, this one I think is going to be pretty commonly used. So I'll just pick one of those up just because I think all of these cards will go up in price. Two point runs and run plays. Now, I don't know if you can only use run plays on two point, but if that's the case, then these two point counters will sky just absolutely skyrocket for the runs. But if it's not the case, then they won't rise as much. So it's kind of a gamble there. Let's see if there's anything else decent here. Hail Mary, strong IPA, FL mineral, middle. No really good run plays here. But the ones, once again, you want to be looking for HB dive weak. Bunch HB Dive, HB, uh, HB Stretch, and Strong A HB Blast, as well as HB Toss. Now, you can look for golds if you guys have a ton of coins. You can be looking for golds and just looking for ones that include these popular plays in them. Maybe look under 150k and scroll to the 4-hour mark once again. Pretty much, you can repeat this process with any level of card, bronze, silver, gold, or elite. And you're going to find some good buys because I think all these prices are going to go up. Man, this person... Posted them all up at 114, and they had a ton of game plans. I was scrolling, and I just saw 114 for quite a while. But this, I think, is going to be a very effective method, similar to how early on in the season, there would be Hail Mary counters going for 70 to 80k, because people, all they were doing was just chucking it up, and just praying that they would come down with it. Everyone wanted to counter Hail Mary, and for this tournament, you can only do run plays, so everybody's going to be wanting to counter these runs. The last method that you guys can use for investing that possibly could work is looking for some halfbacks or possibly some fullbacks in O-line that people are going to be trying to pick up. O-linemen that have a high run block, I don't think those are the greatest investment just because, to be honest, I don't think people are really going to be thinking about that. They're going to be more focused on getting a good running back, but if you guys want to do well in this tournament, I would suggest getting some offensive linemen with high run block. If you guys want me to make a video tomorrow going over the best halfbacks to use for this tournament, the best fullbacks, and the best offensive line, let me know in the comment section and also by hitting that like button because definitely that was a video I was planning on possibly making for tomorrow. But one guy that really, ha his price has shot up already. I was lucky enough to buy, I think, five, six, or maybe even seven of him the other day because I thought he might start going up and he might go up even more. I think his name is McGuire from the Jets, and the reason he's going up very high right now, if you guys can snipe any of him, you're going to make a lot of coins. As you guys can see, they're all going for 95k is the cheapest on a gold halfback, which is just absolutely nuts. It's because he gets boosted plus 8 overall, and then when you train him up, he becomes an absolutely godly halfback. I have one on my team, and therefore... When it comes tournament time, he's going to be extremely dominant. Not at 92 overall, 102 speed, 93 strength, 101 agility, 99 acceleration, 100 dropping, and 73 catching. So this guy with 82 trucking and 83 elusiveness is such a good halfback. So if you guys are just looking to snipe cards, then you might want to just seriously consider sitting on this or some sort of team of the week filter and just hoping one of these cards drops because this guy could be going for even more than he is right now, especially considering people are going to be wanting to play in this weekend's tournament, and they want to have a very good halfback. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys made some sense out of that. You can go make some investments, pick up some of these game plans, pick up some players possibly, and make a ton of coins this weekend. I'm going to finish it off by just buying the rest of my color sampler packs for the day. And seeing if I can finally pull an elite from these, I have yet to pull a single elite in color sampler. I actually did pull one. There was that really good pack the other day was that was 150k. I can't remember what it was called, but I had like 10 color rush players in it. I pulled an elite, and I think I still have him on a bench, but he was going for like 300k. Those packs were actually very, very good. Fortunately, in this one, no elite there. And our final pack of the day. Please, can we get an elite? My first one on camera. Color sampler reveal all. And we do not get anything. We get Xavier Grimble, so I'll probably just auction him up. Thank you guys once again for watching. Go out there, make a ton of coins, stay hungry, stay humble, and remember, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.